Hey there, what's going on? I'm Rich DeMuro with CNET TV in New York City, and you're in the queue, Week in Review. Here's what made tech headlines for the first week of March 2007. But first, your must-see moment. That's gotta hurt. New bumper crash tests from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety show bumpers are bogus. Only two of 68 mid-sized cars did okay, and that's at six miles an hour. Damages from four to $10,000. In comparison, an 81 Ford Escort suffering just 500 bucks of bang ups. Fender bender, how about wallet whomper? Moving through the queue, with performance lagging, CompUSA announcing plans to stop the bleeding. The company closing low performing stores to concentrate on money making locations. 126 stores saying goodbye in the next 90 days, leaving the comp to romp with 103. Seven weeks after the Consumer Electronics Show wrapped in Las Vegas, Sony back in Sin City to strut its stuff. A slew of announcements, including a cheaper Blu-ray disc player at 600 bucks, a $300 way to play internet video on Bravia TVs, two portable photo printers, and a line of slim and stylish Cybershot cameras. The T-Series comes in pink, white, black, and silver, and they're optimized for HD TV. I just hope everyone's ready to see themselves in HD. Did grandma always have a mustache? Like a frazzled bill collector, the recording industry still concentrating its efforts on those sure to pay, college students. The RIAA sending out 400 pre-litigation letters to 13 universities, giving network users who illegally download too much music a chance to settle claims at a discounted rate before they file a lawsuit. My alma mater, USC with 20 letters, Ohio University topping the list with 50. By my calculations, if the settlement rate is less than a buck per song, it's not a bad deal. Teens are used to getting report cards at school, but now they could be graded on their driving no matter where they go. American Family Insurance launching the Teen Safe Driver Program. Parents get an in-car drive cam to capture audio and video of their teen driving. The unit sends data wirelessly to an analysis center. Parents get weekly status report emails complete with video clips. Then to really embarrass Junior, watch Dad post the worst clips on YouTube. That'll teach you to drive safe. Finally, a better way to brush. Whether you're one or a hundred, cleaning those chompers for a full two minutes is tough, but not if you have tooth tunes. American Idol for the mouth. The toothbrush transmits music to the inner ear. It's pressure sensitive, meaning you have to keep brushing to hear hit songs from artists like Kelly Clarkson and the Black Eyed Peas. Don't worry about bothering your neighbors, only the brusher hears the sound of music. Less plaque and no more explaining the voices in your head. Yeah! Plus, you're all queued up. Remember, CNET TV is the place to catch tons of tech video all week long. I'm Rich Demiro in New York City. Don't say I didn't tell you so.